Hello and welcome back to my channel. I am Amanda and this is Dr. Mommy Budgets. I am here today. I am going to do my week four budget projection video. So basically I am going to talk through all of the possibilities and ways and allocations of my dollars for this week. Today is August the 27th, 2021. Therefore, it's Friday, so it is a payday, and we are going to talk about what we're planning to do with this money. So, if you are interested in this sort of content, then please stick around for the remainder of this video. And also, if you have not subscribed to my channel, hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification so that you are notified whenever I post a video. Also, if you like this video, then hit the like button. And also leave me a comment and let me know hmm, what you're doing with your money, how you're budgeting your money. Do you even like talking about money? Do you like dealing with money? Why are you even here watching this video, you know? Let me know that. Let's just be real here on this channel. I try to make sure that I do that with every single video. Be my true, authentic self. And I hope that you do the same in the comments below. So, without further ado, we're going to go back old school. And I'm going to turn the camera around. And you're going to go through my budget projection with me. We're going to write out all of these numbers together. We're going to calculate everything together. So, that's where we are. So if you're interested in this sort of content, stick around for the remainder of this video. All right, we are back and we're going to dive right into this week four budget projection for August 27th, 2021. And my two little phrases for today is hashtag I am a Virgo. Yes, this is my month. My birthday is in, is in exactly three days, August the 30th. And my other saying is life is what you make it, which is exactly true. Life is exactly what you make it. I know it may sound like a cliche and all that, but you know, you need to start really thinking about some of these little cliches and sayings and applying them to your life and it will make a big difference. So let's go on and dive right in to this video. Of course, I'm going to angle my tablet because I cannot write with it straight up. Well, actually I can, but I prefer not to write with it straight. So let's get going. First item that we are going to project with this money for this week is the HOA. Okay, HOA fees. They are going to be coming in at $6.70. Next is Hulu. We're going to see if we can go through this really quick. Make it short as we can. $5.99. Auto insurance. Now remember, these are items that I plan on um, utilizing my monies for this upcoming week. This Friday's paycheck that I received today, this is how I plan on utilizing the monies this upcoming week. That's why this is called a budget projection. Auto insurance, $73. Then we have the student loan for $100, then my daughter's college fund. I did change this. This used to be her car fund, but now that she's away in college without the car, I will still give her a little money here or there. That's $25. And next we have the debt amount. Y'all know I'm always excited about paying more toward that mortgage. This week, this is my highest um, week where I make that principal only payment, and it is $536 out of my paycheck that I'm going to send extra to my mortgage, guys. Okay, this will be a principal only payment, this will not go toward the interest. 
So this is the extra money that I have um, per week, or well, for this week, that I can send toward that mortgage. All right, next we have the electric or power bill, however you want to say that. I set aside $160 for that. And then the gas, my natural gas bill, I set aside $180 for that one. Then I'm still setting setting aside monies for my children's lunch account. I don't know when they may have to start back paying, but for this year, so far, lunch has been free. That's $22. And then I have my household expenses, which I actually have already been to the bank to um, take that money out for today. So this is cash that I pull out of my checking account, keep it in my wallet for categories such as groceries, blow money, uh, eating out, hair supplies, school supplies, pet food, all of my categories, toiletries, all that. I, I pull out $194 per week to satisfy that. So next we have the children's savings account where I put $28.50 per week into their accounts. That's an automatic draft out of my account, right smack dab into theirs. All right, next we have the security bill. So my security or my alarm is $26. They're supposed to be coming out here, I think, next week to upgrade my system for free. And if it is not, it end up not being for free. Y'all know I will be back on here to tell the story. Last but not least is the cushion amount of $26.15 that I love to leave in this account so that I can do, you know, things that I need to do and I don't necessarily have to account for them. That's one reason. Second reason is because I never like to see an account with a zero balance. It's just too risky. Something may, you know, need to be paid or there may be some kind of automatic draft that just happens to come into the account. I don't know, but um, I just don't like to leave it without any money in, the, in my bills checking account or actually in any account. So that's how we get that amount. So at this particular time, we're going to tally up all of these expenses and debts. So the total for this week is $1,379.25. I think this is like the week that I have the highest amount of expenses um, out of my out of each week that I allocate monies. So yeah, so there we go. Thirteen seventy nine is our total. Now, I typically leave twelve hundred dollars in this account every single week. So let's go on and do that. Let's make sure we're still we are still in frame. So we already see that we're gonna have to subtract. So let's just do that. This is thirteen seventy nine twenty five minus the amount that I leave in the account each week. All right, we're gonna bring up our calculator one second. Let me go and find it. Okay, let's see if we got this in view. Yes, we do. All right, 1379, 25 minus 1228. Yeah, I just decided to bring you guys along with me as I do my budget this week. It's a little bit later in the day than I normally do it, so um, I am just deciding to write it out with you guys on camera. I have gone to the bank, as I stated earlier, to pull out my cash, and I've also gone to the hair salon to get my hair done, just in case you guys didn't notice in my introduction. All right, so as we can see here, we will need to pull out this amount out of the bill savings account, and we're doing that right here on paper because that's not going to be the last thing that I do with this money. So that's step number one and that number is going to get a blue cloud around it because it has a relationship with another number that we're going to see a little bit later on. All right, that's step number one. Step number two is to go back up through these expenses and put a PA beside those items that I'm not paying for this week, although I am going to allocate it out of this week's check. 
So we will not be paying the HOA fees. We are not paying the auto insurance. We're not paying the student loan because um, those of us that have student loans know that they are in that extended forbearance or whatever until January 31st, 2022. So we're not making payments, but I am still setting aside that money in my bill savings account. So I'm going to make a choice as to whether I want to send them a lump sum payment or if I just want to restart my, um, my monthly payments, you know, so we'll see, you know, we have people who are paying their student loans or have student loans. We have, they, they have mixed feelings about what they're doing. Some are continuing to pay so they can get rid of some of that back end entrance, uh, interest. And there are some that are just holding off and saving the money in an account until it's time to, um, start the payments again. So that's your preference. Whatever you want to do is up to you. All right. So what else do we have any more PA items that we need to put away? No, I actually think everything else. Let's see, it's going to be taken care of this upcoming week. Yep, that's that. So all three of those items will get a pink PA on them. So that is the second step. It just seemed like there should be something else. Let's look down through here again. Gas, electric that's being paid. Oh, the children's lunch money. Because lunch is free, so we're going to put that away. No, it looked a little slim. It's normally four or five items each week that I put away. Household is good. Security, yep, everything else is good. So now that's step number two. Step number three is to go back and tally up or add up all of these put away amounts. So we're going to come down here. I love colors and I love organization, as you can see. I like things to be, you know, colors make things stand out and it also shows a relationship between items. All right, so we have the calculator back with us. So let's go on through and add these items up. Six seventy plus seventy three dollars plus one hundred dollars plus twenty two dollars is two hundred and one dollars and seventy cents. All right, this is the other number that gets the blue cloud around it because I will be putting this amount away right here on paper. So these two numbers have a relationship. One, we need to pull out of the bill savings account on paper and one we need to put away on paper. So let's subtract the two because they have two different actions. So that $201.70 minus the $151.25 five cents gives us a total of let's subtract 151.25 from 201.70 that leaves us with fifty dollars and forty five cents now the 201 was the amount we were supposed to put away the 151.70 uh 25 is the one we're supposed to pull out so remember your answer always take the action of the larger number that is the put away amount. So we're still going to put away into the bill savings account here on paper. All right. That's where we are. Stay with me. Now that's step number three. Step number four is this item also gets that yellow line under it because it's also going to have a relationship. Now let's go back up through these items. We're going to put a purple triangle beside every item that I will be taking care of this week. And typically it is everything else that doesn't have the pink circle by it. So there you have it. All other items will be, um, taken care of this week out of this week's pay, meaning I am going to pay these items this week and or move monies. It just depends. Now, as it relates to this cushion amount, I also I always give it an active purple triangle because it is money that physically sits in that account. And if I need to do something with it, it's there. So that's always an item that is active every single week. Everything else we're paying or moving monies around or deducting them from the account. So I pulled the 194 out in cash, 
We're moving the 2850 to the children's account. This um, security bill will be paid this week. Gas bill, electric bill. The debt amount will be sent to the mortgage. That's that extra extra principal only payment. I will move the money to the daughter's um, college fund and Hulu will get their money this week. So that's kind of where we are now. Now, let's go back up to this electric and gas bill. These are the amounts that I typically set aside each week, but nine times out of 10, this isn't going to be the exact amount. Now, if I can recall, my electric bill for this week is $65. So that's the actual amount. So we're gonna take this projected amount and we're gonna subtract the actual amount and that should leave us with what? How much is that, guys? $95, okay? So that would be money that I would need to put back into the bill savings account, but that's right here on paper because at the end of the day, we're only gonna do one transaction. So there you have it for the electric bill. Now, let's move down to the gas bill. Okay, you know what? I did that different. We're just going to have to crisscross and call it a day. I'll show you in a minute. The electric bill is actually $265 this month. I set aside $160, okay? So we just work with me. I did the, did the two bills, you know, differently or incorrectly. These numbers are for the electric bill, and these numbers are for my gas bill but it doesn't matter it doesn't matter um actually we'll just you because i typically would just add these two numbers up which gives me 340 every month and then i will add the actual totals up and that gives me whatever their total are and i subtract that actual total from the 340. so either way interchangeably it doesn't matter but um that that's kind of what we got going on so just know that this $65 is actually the gas bill and the $265 is the electric bill. So that's where we are. But we'll utilize the monies the way they are right now. So that $265 for that electric bill minus the actual $180 that's set aside. Let's see. That gives me $85. Five dollars that I would actually need to pull out of the bill savings account to help out with this bill but we'll be doing that right here on paper of course so we'll, that number will also get a yellow line so now let's go back through because I know you may be a little bit confused based on all this writing I've done right here all right, so we got the 95 that we need to pull to put back because of the gas bill overage, but we need to take out money for the electric bill because the electric bill is 265. So that's how we get these two numbers. So now, as you can see, we have three numbers that have yellow lines under them. So we need to add or subtract all of them. So we have Two that we need to put away, that $95 and the $50.45 we need to put away. So let's go on and add those two together. So 95 plus $50.45. Well, we can go on and do this three-way um, um, mathematical equation. You guys are smart enough to do all that. And so we would subtract the $85 because that's money that we need to pull out. So these first two numbers we need to put away. The last number we need to pull out. So let's do our complex mathematical equation. We have $95 plus the $50.45 minus the $85. So there you go. This is what we are going to be working with this week okay sixty dollars and 45 cents now what do we need to do with the sixty dollars and 45 cents remember i told you that number always take the action of the larger of the two numbers these these two numbers were your large numbers remember the 95 plus the 50 45 
that total was a hundred and forty five dollars and forty five cents right minus the eighty five dollars so these two numbers were numbers that we need to do what put away the 95 and the 50 45 both of them needed to be put away back in the bill savings account so that is what's going to happen with our answer since it's the largest number so we would put away this number in our bills savings account this week so that's what's going to happen with my paycheck this week after we get through doing all of our calculations and moving numbers around we're actually going to end up putting away sixty dollars and 45 cents and that's going to ensure that everything else on the page get taken care of that have a purple triangle beside it and everything that has a pink put away circle beside it will also get taken care of so that's how i do my budget every single week guys and this is really all i have because this video is way way long and it's always long when i write out my budget but hey it's my budget projection so we have to take some time we have to spend some time with your money every single week guys i suggest you do that that way you'll know where your dollars and cents are going and you would know what you know what you're saving what you're spending whatever so this is all i have for this video guys please like share and subscribe leave me a comment below and let me know how you're budgeting what's going on with your money so this is dr mommy budgets where we dream big but start small around here I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.